<laughs> I'm here with Christian. We are going to talk a little bit about today of shortages, aren't we, Christian? Um, I went to fill up my car or get some petrol, and um, the other day I noticed one of the garages didn't have any petrol, but the other one did. So I drove to that one first, and they're out of diesel and petrol. I drive to the next one, they're out of diesel and petrol. And I drive to the next one, and they're out of diesel and petrol. Oh no, one of the garages had a little bit of unleaded. And then I've rung up loads of garages that are all in Newbury, and they all say they've got unleaded, but they haven't got diesel. And when you go to the internet, it will tell you that there is petrol and diesel, they just don't have the drivers. What do you make of that, Christian? Well, I mean, I'm quite shocked that uh, it's not not just where you are, but it's in uh, various other places that I've uh, already come across on Facebook that people are posting on. About We're short of drivers. Places, but... Oh, actually, the whole country's now short of drivers. How does that happen? Well, yeah, I mean, I only heard about um, the, sh the shortage on petrol last night. That was the first I heard of it. Mm. Uh, you heard about it a bit earlier in the week, probably Wednesday. I think, yeah, because but... I saw it had no petrol at one of the garages, one of the smaller garages. So I drove to the BP, it's um, a uh, Marks and Spencer shop with a BP garage, I think it's BP. And I've got petrol there, okay. But what it is, is no one's putting signs out on the road saying we haven't got any petrol. And so everybody's just queuing in and then finding out, oh, you've got no petrol. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be handy if the, they had road signs saying that they're, they're, they haven't got any. But then no, here it says, uh, lack of drivers is delaying the fueling of some petrol forecourts and prompting fuel rationing. But it's not just one, like each one of those garages, they're different. Tesco's is not BP, BP is not the little one in Thatcham, and the one, there's another one in Woolhampton. I went there, that's a different brand. They're all different petrol stations, but they, none of them have got diesel. Well, that's the uncanny thing about it, is the fact that they've all got different drivers, different companies, different agencies, yeah. supply drivers. Yeah. You know, how, how can everybody have all of a sudden not have any drivers all together at the same time? Well, my feeling is that they love to keep us in stress. Well, luckily for me, <laughs> I haven't been driving for a little while, so... They love but, yeah. having us in stress. It's uncanny that it's, it's in lots of places all at the same time. That's mm. what I don't understand. Why is it not? various uh, places. Mission accomplished. The country's in stress now. Panic buying petrol, which they say, don't panic buy. We're just short of a few drivers. Yeah, so the whole country's panic buying now. But even that's not true, is it? It's not people panic buying. It is, but they, it's them doing it, as per usual. Yeah. They love to I mean, have our stress. That's what it makes people do. Good to go out and panic buy. Mm. At all costs, keep the people stressed. At all costs, keep them stressed. Yeah. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. Then you come up with another thing. It's like the old saying, or do up kale. We'll create it and we'll have the solution so as soon as. Well, I wasn't very happy earlier on, was I, Christian? Well, especially when you go from one garage to another garage to another garage to another garage and you find... You're wasting petrol doing it. Not None of them saying that they haven't got petrol, but, you know, it would have been handy. Uh, could you have just driven on, on straight away? Well, oh, Boris isn't the doing a very good job then, is it? While he's faffing around with Biden, he should be here helping us with this one because it means Monday morning... Half the country's not going to work. Yeah, but the economy is doing fantastic. Oh. Well, I'd like to pull, push them all off cliffs, to be honest. I'd, I'd like to, you know, push, gone, push, gone, push, gone. I'd love it. Well, 
I mean, I could have been a pre-warning about this. Um, they could have put it up. I don't know whether they have or not, because I don't watch the television anymore. Aha! Uh -huh, surprise is element now, isn't it, Christian? Well, yeah, this is it, you know. it's uh, Like you said, it's another way to stress people out and to get them to panic by and whatnot. But, yeah, they could have put um, something out on the news saying, well, there's a huge uh, shortage on drivers, like a, a week ago or a fortnight ago. So get prepared for shortages. And they would have known because all these businesses are supposed to keep in touch with the government. And, um, you know, at the moment, I went to Tesco's, a little Tesco's, because I thought, well, if they show that they're empty, then it might be a bit more... But I went there and a lorry was there, so they were delivering, and the and the shelves were full. So it's just for the it's just for the humans, car drivers. It's to make your life stressful. It's another little game player because every single lorry driver now can't deliver petrol. I, I said to you, have they gone on strike or something? And they're just not saying. I mean, what, what about liaisoning with other companies to um, establish um, driver selection? You know, there's various means that they can work around it. You know, there's got to be, isn't there? You know. Hmm. Well, obviously not, Christian. Well, to me, it sounds like it's just another uh, move on the chessboard towards um, whatever they're doing. You know, it's not one thing; it's another. You know. Yeah, they've got to keep us completely stressed out. Well, yeah, I mean, soon we'll have the Afghani terrorism over here, won't we? Oh, well, it's nothing to do with that. We know that they all play together, so it's all been done as a game. Like I said, another move on the chessboard for them. Hmm. Anyway, we just came on to make a little video, didn't we? Yeah, but it has to be said, you know, it, it is like they're playing games with the population. Um, we know what, what's going on in other places, so it's it's more or less the same thing in other places. Uh, uh, like I heard from one of my friends, John, he's saying exactly the same thing uh, over in Canada. You know, they're, they're putting it down to the excuses of um, shortage of drivers, but if people don't want to do certain things, they won't. Um, I don't think I'm it's true that suddenly overnight we've become short of dry lorry drivers, but it says here, if you go to the internet, it says, are there shortages of petrol or diesel in the UK? The shortage at the petrol stations is caused by issues with transporting the fuel from distribution terminals to forecourts. There's no shortage of petrol or diesel in the UK. Well, there you have it then, but what is the reason for the shortage of drivers? I mean, I oh look, is there a diesel Jordan. shortage in the UK? What does that one say? Uh, where is it gone? Um, sorry, I hadn't pressed it, but here we go. Down here. Oh, that one, sorry. Britain has no shortage of petrol or diesel, but Hoya, BP's contractor, is struggling to get enough drivers to deliver fuel to forecourts. Fuel shortages have also affected a small number of forecourts affected by Tesco and Esso. But it's not just that, it's BP, it's all of them. All of them are affected. And um, it, this is a BP. BP has nothing to do with Tesco's and the, well. These are different stations, different companies. Well, this is what I'm saying. How come it's every company that's been affected by the shortage of drivers all overnight? How does that work? Well, I did tell you the other day that I was struggling to get petrol in Thatcher and one of the garages there had no petrol or anything for sale. And that was Tuesday. So it's been going on for days. Well, I mean, I know I watched this short documentary about the, the changes within the DVL in, in recent times. Um, I can't quite recall what these changes are, but, but there have been changes. Could have even been Sunday. I thought they were trying to alleviate this problem with the, the shortage of drivers. But uh, whatever it is, it's, again, administration, isn't it? I wonder if you talk to the lorry drivers, it would be the same story. This is the thing. Um, it's not knowing um, somebody that is a lorry driver to let us know what the actual problem is. Yeah, I don't know any lorry drivers. Well, not driving now. Not a pet one. Sorry, I'm eating my dinner, everybody. I was eating... Christian, tell them what I was eating. Uh, cottage, cottage, cottage cheese bolognese. Mm. 
Christian couldn't believe how quickly I made it, could you, Christian? <laughs> no, it should be on TV. Nah, anyway, it was cottage cheese bolognese. I bought some cottage cheese the other day, so yeah, that's what I had, cottage cheese bolognese. Well, we just wanted to talk about that a little bit, didn't we? That just seems really strange that suddenly, oh, there's no drivers. So there yeah, is no shortage of petrol. There is no shortage of diesel. There's just a shortage of drivers. Stress! Because that's, even though I know it, it made me feel stressed today. Because I wanted to go and do something and I couldn't. Because I had no petrol. But anyway, Christian, last words from you. Yeah, that's what it causes at the end of the day. Yeah, it's people, people are panic buying, causes people other unneedless stress. Exactly. Made stress for you that wasn't your problem, but ends up being your problem because someone else has made it for you. Yeah. I couldn't even answer day. that question. If it's BP that hasn't got drivers, how come it's all the petrol stations that have got problems? Because there will be drivers out, so it's got to mean some stations are getting their petrol, some garages are getting their petrol, they're just waiting for their, their load to come in, that's what they're doing. Thatcher said they didn't have any the other day, they were waiting for the lorry and the lorry hasn't come in. That seems to be the case in many places. All the same, say. all the same, wherever you go, it just, just they, they make me sick. But anyway, Christian, we're going to finish now, aren't we? Yeah. Thank you, Christian. But I, I was feeling quite stressed out earlier on. That's Look, that's fine. the name of the game, isn't it? So you're driving all over the place looking for petrol while you don't have any petrol in the car. So that makes it even worse. Mm. Anyway, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's like... A, okay. It's like a need, something that you need daily, isn't it? You know? Your journeys, so. people. I can't go out the house. Oh. I'm too frightened to go out the house. Part of everyday life. Yeah. Well, I sack Boris. He's no. He's no prime minister for me. And none of them are. Very quickly, they're really taking the Mickey out of him. Uh, Australian press. They're really taking the Mickey out of Biden. I mean, you know, they're all part of the same thing. So, obviously, Sky has got this. As, I mean, like, I'm not saying that we don't do some moaning, but they've really got it in for Biden. No, I can't comment on that because I don't watch the news. I pay no attention to it anymore. Every, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna play you this one because this and, and the girl was. Uh, we'll be back in a second. Hang on. Here we're back. I played that bit to Christian and they've just got it in for biden they've just got it in for them they don't really go on about boris they go on about biden and camilla in one of the videos they said she's not really doing anything so um where is she but um in the meantime as well christian you've rang your brother up haven't you yeah and um, he's informed me that uh, the, the garages that he's come across they're not struggling with diesel but struggling with petrol um whereas you came across and you can't get diesel, but they've got petrol, so yeah. that's really weird, isn't it? You would have thought that it'd be the, the same thing, wouldn't you? I, you can understand that maybe they're struggling with drivers, but when you go to, when you ring up about four or five different companies, so that's different people supplying those garages, so you know that Tesco's is with that, Marks and Spencer's is BP, then that one's this and that one's that, and all of them have got problems. And the very fact that people are going out to panic buy and filling their tanks up and filling up everything because they saw it on TV. And what it says know, is, don't panic buy. Yeah, uh, yeah. When, when the TV says don't panic buy, everybody goes out and panic buys and fills up whatever they can. See, last time it's, we've got them on toilet paper. Now it's, we've got them on the petrol. Yeah. What's next? Baked beans so you can't fart. Now we go. We're limiting your air supply. Yeah, that that probably come. You've got you to know. buy your air. A bit like my brother says, it's just scare tactics, uh, fear mongering. 
pushing one thing to another, to another, to another. Stress, stress, stress. But we're going to finish now, aren't we, Christian? But we found that little bit of information. So, Christian lives in Northamptonshire, Northampton, Northampton rather. You've got a problem with unleaded, and down here in Berkshire, I've got a problem with diesel. Yeah. Hmm. But Christian, when your brother could get it. Even though they've got unleaded, nearly all the pumps have got bags over them. There's nothing on the roads to say we haven't got petrol or we've only got a little bit of unle un un unleaded. So everybody's driving in, causing more traffic. Yeah, and which could cause accidents and hazards. You know, whereas they can put sort of signs out saying no petrol, no diesel. Yeah. You know, what, what happened to them, Dave? Well, like I told you, the, one of the garages I went to in Thatcham, I went there the other day and they didn't have any, so I drove to the BP... Marks and Spencer one, and they did, but they also haven't got any today. But why aren't there signs up saying we have? We're waiting for deliveries. Yeah, four one is four times. And you see it again overnight, almost. It's done again overnight, overnight, yeah. overnight. Everything happens overnight. It's all happening. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to finish now because we don't have any answers for it. Only that they do it. Stress, stress, so one stress. Things, one of the best things to do is to phone your local garage to find out if it's got any diesel or petrol so that you don't have to go up queuing up, wasting petrol, trying to get some. Like I did. About 10 miles I went out of my way to do these garages to try and get petrol. That's it. So save diesel, sorry. Journey, try and get diesel. I know. Save yourself a journey. Make a call. Be forewarned, isn't it? Yeah, except the one at Tesco's in Newbury, I couldn't get through to them. But Ellie said, somebody said that they've got unleaded. Well, they've got petrol, but it'll be unleaded. It won't be diesel. Nowhere's got diesel here. Okay, and it's even worse because it's not like we've got a, a diesel problem or a petrol problem, you know, unleaded problem. It's we haven't got any drivers. Overnight, yeah. all the drivers seem to have floated away. Sacked them all. Hmm. Anyway, Christian, thanks very much for making, helping me make this video. Okay, up. Thank you, my darling. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everybody.